Welcome to Photo Play Paper. Are you ready to party? Because we sure are. We are excited to share with you Tula and Norbert's birthday party collections, designed by Becky Moore. These collections work independently of each other, but the colors mix and match beautifully. So all of the elements in each of these collections can be mixed and matched. Let's take a look at each of them a little more closely. Each of these individual collections features six double-sided papers that are fun, festive, and whimsical. In each collection kit, you will get two of each paper as well as an elements sticker sheet. Let's take a look at each of the collections individually. We're gonna start with Norbert's birthday party. This collection features these fun and vibrant colors in classic red, orange, yellow, blue, and green. We're going to start with the surprise paper, and it includes an assortment of 4x6 and 3x4 cut-aparts, including spaces for journaling, titles, and so much more. Loving the hip hip hooray, it's your birthday. You could even make, cut these apart and make cards with them. The back side of this sheet includes these fun classic colors of dots, great for mixing and matching with all of the other pieces in this collection. I just love this little gnome. Look at the little gnome taking off with his balloons. How fun is that? This paper is called Party Up and it features lots of classic colors and balloons and this adorable little gnome. And the back side features this pretty bright blue with white polka dots. This paper is called Party Hats. It makes you want to grab your party hat and let the games begin. It features lots of great textures and styles of party hats as well as hearts and stars and confetti bits. The back side features this beautiful rainbow striped paper with tiny dots in blue in between each stripe. Who doesn't love a great rainbow striped paper? They say eat dessert first and this paper called Make a Wish gives you lots of cakes to be able to have your cake and eat it too. I love the fact that there are fun presents, cupcakes, big cakes, little cakes, cake slices, so pretty. The back of this paper features a two-tone confetti that mixes and matches beautifully with all of the other papers in this collection. This is my favorite paper in the collection because it features both Tula and Norbert holding birthday cakes, slices of cakes, presents, balloons, banners, and more. How can you not smile when you see these happy little guys? The back of this paper features an orange background with a lighter orange ghosting of balloons, presents, streamers, and dots, just for a subtle background to give interest to cards, layouts, mini albums, and more. You can't have a party without party streamers. And the party streamer paper includes this great rainbow of colors that are fun and festive. And the back of that paper features a red polka dot. The element sticker sheet includes all of these great numbers, balloons, icons, a few fun gnomes, party signs, party banners, party hats, cakes, and so much more. Love this little tag. Little arrows, a border along the bottom, as well as lots of fun phrases to use on your layouts and cards. This is a great way to add fun embellishments to cards, layouts, and more. Norbert's Birthday Party also features a fun Color Me paper that allows you to quickly color in the elements on this paper, cut them out, you can add them to cards, and layouts quickly. There are also a few of the little elements over here that actually match the dies perfectly. So if you purchase the coordinating dies, color this in, you can quickly cut that out and make a card in a snap. After years of listening to our customers who love to throw parties, you asked and we listened. We have created a paper collection that allows you to create cards for birthday parties, invitations, and so forth that allows you to have everything pre-printed like this. If you have the metal dies that match, 
each of those dies cut out the different pieces on your paper. So as you see in the die set, the Norbert die set, you get the two dies that go with the different gnomes. You get the party hat, which fits like that. It also comes with this great candle die that cuts out all of these fun candles at the bottom. You could easily add that to a little gift bag. You could tie up your silverware with a fun little piece of twine and add a candle to it for a little bit of added fun and festiveness. There's a background to use for a card. There's lots of sayings. So you get three of Let's Party Nomi, three happy birthdays, three light them up, as well as this idea for a card with these two pieces, one of the gnomes, and one of these sentiments. So not only do you get all of these pieces, but you also get a card that you just have to cut out and layer together to create this fun little card. So if you want quick and easy cards and you don't have time to stamp and color, this is the perfect way to do that. This is the ephemera pack for the Norbert's birthday party collection. And I wanted to show you what you get when you first take apart the package. Some of the pieces are separate. They're already punched out. As you dig a little deeper, you'll notice that they're on an individual sheet. This just helps to allow you to pop them out easily one by one as you use them, like so, to be able to keep them from bending inside of the package during shipping. So you're going to get a bunch of sheets with different punch outs. like this, in the ephemera pack. The one thing I do recommend is when you're popping them out, pop them out from the bottom up. That way, if there's a little piece of paper that's torn, it tears at the bottom, not the top. If you tear downward, it's going to tear the colored part of your paper. So always pop upward like so. Then if there's any tearing, it's on the white back side, not on the pretty front side. Just a fun little tip so that you don't ruin your ephemera piece as you pop it out. Here are all the pieces in the ephemera pack already punched out. There are 26 pieces in all, including a frame, these adorable gnomes on tags, fun hearts, different banners, sayings, fun little tickets, party hats. I like this little tag. The more candles, the bigger the wish, if that were only true. This one is cute. It's all about the cake. I like this. You are the life of the party. You take the cake. Someone I love was born today. This would be cute just to pop up with 3D tape, like foam tape, and add to a card, and you have a quick and easy birthday card with maybe one of these fun little embellishments to jazz it up a bit. So that is the ephemera pack. That is the last piece in Norbert's birthday party collection. Now let's party with Tula. You're all invited to Tula's birthday party, designed by Becky Moore. This collection also features six fun and festive papers, perfect for birthday parties, birthday cards, birthday albums, and so much more. Let's take a look at each of the pieces in this collection. First we have the Hooray Cut-Aparts in 4x6 and 3x4 sizes. There are some fun different journaling spots, great cut-apart elements for cards, as well as pocket page scrapbooking. The back of that paper features this great green, pink, and white plaid that mixes and matches beautifully with all the papers in the collection. Tula is riding high with the floating paper, which includes Tula escaping off into the sunset on a balloon bouquet. The back of that paper includes a green polka dot Great for mixing with all of the different patterns in this collection. We also have the party favors 
paper, which includes great party hats with lots of different designs, including confetti, hearts, stars, and more. If you notice, Tula's collection has more lighter pinks, teals, yellows, brighter pinks, a little bit of red. So the color scheme is different, but the theme is very, very similar. So this polka dot paper would be great for adding to a card as well as a scrapbook page. So the two colors coordinate, but they're not exactly the same. So choose your favorite or get them both. This is Tula's version of Let's Eat Cake, which includes the brighter color palette with the pinks, the reds, the teals, and so forth. Lots of cakes, cupcakes, presents, banners, and more. The back of that piece of paper includes this fun teal with little tiny specks of confetti all over the back. Did I mention I love rainbows? I love rainbows. I love classic rainbows and I love bright rainbows in all colors and combinations. The celebrating with my Nomi's paper includes this light teal background with lots of different gnomes celebrating in their own special way, holding presents, balloons, eating cake, holding banners, and more. The back side of that paper features these great brights with a little tiny dot running through the center. So beautiful for mixing and matching with all of the papers in this collection. This paper is called Decorations, and it features the same adorable streamers that Norbert had in his collection, but in this bright color palette. The back of this paper also features the balloons on a bright pink background with light pink outlines. The element sticker sheet includes birthday banners, titles, tags, as well as different tab elements, words, this great border in rainbow colors, as well as the numbers zero through nine, some great presents, some fun hearts and stars and balloons. I love these candles. And who can resist Tula and Norbert? They're just so cute together. That is the sticker elements sheet that is perfect for adding different elements to your cards, layouts, and paper crafting projects. Tula also has her own Color Me paper with 12 different designs that are meant to be cut apart and colored for a quick embellishment in a card or in a pocket page scrapbook. The back of that paper features this great polka dot background that you can color in whatever colors you choose. In the corner, just like Norbert, there are also three little elements that you can color and cut out with the coordinating dies. So you can quickly color and cut elements to include on a layout or a party favor quickly and easily. This is one of my favorite pieces in this collection. It's the die paper that allows you to use your metal dies to cut out pre-colored images of Tula. So if you can see here, we have two different styles of Tula holding balloons, as well as a cupcake and a party hat, and then these fun little mini candles. The dies go perfectly over the top of each of the elements on this sheet. I would tape them down with a little bit of low tack tape so that the die doesn't move and ruin what's next to it. I would run it through your die cut machine, cut all of the pieces out, and you can easily use these pieces for party invitations, party favors. And the bonus is that, as you can see, there's a large piece here, and then a smaller piece of patterned paper over here. So once you get all of these things cut out, they give you the idea and how to put it together in this tiny full color picture right here. So you would add this to your card base, add this over the top, pick one of the different Tula cut aparts, and then your favorite saying from the bottom, layer them together for a quick and easy card. These are perfect for cutting apart quick and easy elements for parties. In the package of dies, you also get 
a sheet of paper like this that allows you to color any way you want. You can color it to match your party colors or theme. And then the same thing happens. You take your dies and you place them over the top, run them through your die cutting machine, and you have instant elements for a card. There are also stamps that match the dies as well. So watch our Instagram feed over the next month or so for lots of inspiration and ideas using Tula and Norbert's birthday party collection. Next, I want to show you the ephemera pack, which is so much fun. Check out all the fun elements in the ephemera pack from Tula's birthday party. Lots of bright frames, beautiful banners, fun tags, some tabs, I love the tickets. Look at how cute the tickets are. As well as different elements that you could easily 3D mount with some foam tape and add dimension to your layouts and cards. There's also a 3x4 cut apart that you could use as a title as well as inside of a pocket page layout. There are 26 pieces of ephemera in the collection. They mix and match beautifully with all of the papers. You can easily add foam tape to get a 3D ephemera piece, perfect for all of your paper crafting needs. The next thing I want to share with you is just a couple tips for using the dye paper that matches the Tula's birthday party set. So these are the dies, and you'll see them here. So we have the dies, and then we have this dye paper. So for people who maybe are not stampers, who want quick and easy cards to include for party invitations for their kids, and so forth, Photoplay has done a great job of creating ready-made elements that all you have to do is die cut the elements out of this sheet and put them on your card. This is perfect for a mom who wants to create their own party invitations and matching, you know, pieces for tags or little gift boxes. These are great elements to use for all of that. So I want to give you a couple tips for working with this in case you've never done die cutting before. Or if you just want to have a little quick update on tips and tricks. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a couple ideas as to how to get started. The first thing I want to do is show you the dies that go with it. So here is the piece of paper and the dies fit beautifully over the top of each of the pieces. So if you're not a die cutter, you're going to want to tape those pieces in place. So line it up so that it's equal around all the edges and you're going to want to just take a piece of removable tape. I use the ThermoWeb purple tape. Okay, I'm going to just line it up so that it's equal on both sides, left to right and top to bottom. Kind of scooch it around till you're happy and just go ahead and tape it down. Now, depending on what kind of a die cutting machine you have, you might have a little sidekick like the Tim Holtz sidekick I have here. The reason I brought the smallest one in is because the Tim Holtz sidekick cut all of these pieces for me. So everything that you see on the table, all of these were cut with the little tiny sidekick. So that makes it nice just to have a small machine to cut all of the pieces. You don't necessarily have to invest in something really big. You can use something small. But before I did any die cutting at all, what I found in working with it is that you're going to want to just roughly cut out each of the pieces so that you can run them through individually. Okay, so let me show you kind of how that all works. Off camera, I went ahead and I cut apart the whole sheet so that I have all of the pieces individually separated to be able to quickly run through the die cut machine. I have the cupcakes, I have the party hats, I have Tula with one party balloon and then Tula with the bouquet of balloons as well as the teeny tiny candle. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the die and tape it in place to run through the die cut machine. 
So this one's done. So we're just going to go ahead and prep those. You don't need a lot of tape. You just need enough tape to keep it in place. So it will look like this. Now we're going to run them through the Sizzix Sidekick from Tim Holtz. Now that I have all of my pieces cut, remember I said that there was this little tiny piece that shows you how to make a quick and easy card with some of the elements that you have on your sheet. So we're going to go ahead and put this card together and I'll show you how fast it is once you've cut out all of the pieces. You're going to need an A2 card base. You need this piece, the larger piece of rectangle patterned paper. You're going to need the pink balloon pattern paper. You're going to choose one of the Tula, either the balloon bouquet or Tula holding a single balloon. And then you're going to need one of the strips, the birthday strips. So I have the pieces here that I want to use. We're going to go ahead and we're going to grab some adhesive. I like the thermo web. We're going to add our piece to the back. As you can see, I write notes to, on the back to know what size I want this card to be cut to. If I want to repeat it, I'm going to cut the pattern piece four and a quarter by five and a half, and that is an A2 size card. Okay, that's the perfect A2 size card. This is going to line up perfectly. So now that we have our base down, we're going to take an add adhesive to the back of our pink balloon paper and we're going to center it top to bottom and left to right as best we can. Next we're going to take the Happy Birthday Know Me sentiment, which I already added adhesive, the foam adhesive to the back of. Then we're just going to center that towards the bottom of the card base, like so. Next we have Tula with our foam tape on the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and center her in the middle of the pink piece. And we have a quick and easy card that's ready to just put in the mail. Plus you have all of these extra pieces to be able to create a card just as beautiful. So you can switch the background paper, you can switch the mounting paper, you can switch the sentiment. So quick and easy for invitations, to have a stash of birthday cards on hand all the time. So this is something fun that you can start with right off the bat. So I hope you have fun cutting all your pieces and being creative. Be sure to share so that we can see what you've created. We always love to see what our customers create with our products. Be sure to tag us at hashtag PhotoPlayPaper. We'd love to see what you create.